Hey everyone, Joe Gamble here. This is the first of a few clips we're gonna drop over the next month or so where I'm just gonna play the Deliverance Series 2 Plus in a number of different contexts to hopefully uh, show you how it sounds, um, demonstrate its range of motion, and hopefully maybe make you think about how it might fit into your workflow. Uh, I may not be the most versatile guitar player in the world, but I consider the Deliverance to be an incredibly versatile amplifier, and I'm just hoping to demonstrate that for you guys. Um, so in this first clip, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just setting the amp up one way, okay? So this is the way I would roll into most gigs um, and have it set up. So all of the tonal variation that you're gonna hear in the clip is coming from either changing up the playing, uh, the pickups, or uh, messing with the volume knob. So just taking one guitar and uh, plugging it straight into the amplifier and letting it rip. All right, so just a few words about uh, the rig before we begin. Um, I'm recording this in my place and there are repercussions for playing really loud guitar so I'm knocking the volume down uh, big time with the uh, PS100 um, and I'm running that at a really low volume. If you care, the reactive load controls on the PS100, uh, the low frequency uh, switch is set to flat, the, uh, the high frequency switch is set to edge because I like that uh, chimey, crispy top end sometimes. Um, the amp itself, the power section, uh, the depth control is set to noon, presence is up kind of high running at almost three o'clock. Uh, the EQ controls, bass is at mm, 10, 11, middle is straight down the middle, treble is running at about two o'clock. Um, getting into the gain one voicing, that's running at 11 o'clock and the gain two um, is engaged via the more switch. So my gain two is set at uh, two o'clock and then uh, the bright switch is on. And then the master volume is running at about 11 o'clock, so definitely have the power section involved. The cab is the 212 Deliverance cab loaded with Fane F70Gs. That's mic'd with ye old SM57. It's going straight into a DAW, and uh, there will be no EQing or individual track compression. Uh, however, there will be the Strymon Dig delay um, on tracks that require that, as is the norm in my world. All right, well, let's play some rock and roll guitar on the D120, and I'm hoping I can do it justice. Mm -hmm. 